Meanwhile, the Ministry of Finance Incorporated has been launched in furtherance of the landmark reform initiatives of the federal government aimed at enhancing the nation's economic fortunes for sustainable growth and development. President Muhammad Buhari, who performed the ceremony, taxed the board of directors and management to grow the entity's assets under management from the current value of 18 trillion naira to at least a hundred trillion naira in the next 10 years. State House correspondent Adam Sambo has that. Although established 64 years ago, this is the very first time the Ministry of Finance Incorporated Morphe has been formally restructured and repositioned to operate in accordance with global best practices as a world-class asset and investment management organization. It is also the firm belief of Mr. President that all government assets must be known and they must be used to generate cash flows that will contribute to improve government revenues and contribute to the social and economic development of our country. Apart from the launch of the Ministry of Finance Incorporated, President Buhari also inaugurated its governing council with him as chairman. Former Minister of Finance Dr. Shamsuddin Usman heads the board of directors, while Dr. Armstrong Takang is the managing director and chief executive officer. I expect you to work with other MDAs to create a consolidated national asset register with a view to converting these assets into cash flow generating entities to support the government's revenue direct drive and D partner with government with a view to using government owned investments and assets to support the government in delivering on its social and economic obligations to the citizenry. Murphy is also expected to be the clearing house for the management of federal government investments and assets with a view to ensuring that such investments are delivering superior risk-adjusted returns to the government. The president described as unacceptable that Murphy's peers in other climes have gone on to make major social and economic impacts in their respective nations, with many of them, like that of Singapore, already becoming global brands investing domestically and internationally. He therefore insists that Morphe must, in delivering on his mandate, live up to the nation's expectations as a trusted custodian and manager of the investments and assets of the federal government. Provide visibility over what the federal government of Nigeria owns by creating and managing a national asset register. Take steps to unlock liquidity from federal government of Nigeria's idle assets, mobilizing capital and investing the capital in opportunities that are strategic to the nation's social and economic development plan. I hereby direct the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planner to commence the process of amending the Morphe Act and other relevant legislation to further institutionalize this report. And as the Buhari presidency remains committed to transparency and accountability, Finance Minister Zainab Ahmed is optimistic that the launch of Morphe marks the beginning of a new era and at the end of his tenure, the deserved change promised Nigerians would have been delivered. From the State House, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.